Uh, in this tutorial, I will show you how to put a green screen uh, footage in a 3D scene and uh, uh, move along with the camera. Uh, actually, this camera tracking is not done. Uh, I am moving the green screen footage along with the uh, camera movement and uh, this behind this sand uh, BMW sky all are 3d scene and only this is a green screen uh, footage where I am sitting and you can see the shadow is perfectly matching here okay. so let's start uh, this is a 3d scene which we are going to put the green screen video and uh, this the uh, sky down which we are in the sky texture and this is the 3D scene. Uh, if you render this one, we will get this image. And we uh, will put the green screen here. So, first, we need to assign the uh, video. So, take movie clip editor and then open your video here. And this is a green screen video. And uh, here you can adjust what the portion you need to put the, by assigning the start frame and end frame, which portion of the video you need to assign. Now this is in tracking mode, so you need to put a mask mode and control click to add the mask. Okay now and click this button to recycle it to close the mask. So we already assigned a mask here. Uh, now we will go to uh, compositing mode and assign this uh, composite window and click use node and backdrop if you want to see the background you can see the backdrop also. So let us start the node for first. First of all, you need to add uh, the input movie clip here, and uh, you need to assign the video green screen video here. Now add input mask. So the mask is here. You need to transform the mask. So add distort and transform node we need to add now we need to mix this together so we need a uh, set alpha node here and can connect this to here again we need a transform node so add distort to transform node here we need to add this uh, the green screen video here and there so that uh, this mode is to be used for connect that one now next step we need to clear the green screen uh, green color so add matte channel key and add matte color spill okay this node will clear clear the green color background now render layer here and need to link uh, combine this together so we need to add color alpha over node and connect this here so here you can see the green screen here it's over the uh, 3d window ok now uh, we need to adjust the mask here we need to adjust the mask size
so yeah yeah you need to adjust mask size mask size is too small now okay that's enough now need to clear this background so take this uh, alpha hour node and convert the node here the other uh, scenes are disappeared and uh, need to clear this green here so take the channel key and increase this low button you can see the background is disappearing here the background gone now I am sitting on the sand but the car is too small we need to adjust this one so we will adjust that in this transform node we can scale this here it's too small maybe okay now we need to bring it down so you can uh, adjust the uh, z axis so uh, y axis so, yeah. okay i think i'll be fine now i'm on the sand and uh, there's a background okay. here if you have what is the problem is you don't have a shadow here you can see the pageant is having a shadow and uh, this green screen uh, footage doesn't have a shadow so we need to put a shadow here for that we need to add an object uh, take the 3D view, camera view, and uh, just render now and see where is the what is the position of the footage. Okay, it's here, almost here. So we need to add a uh, shadow object so add a cube scale a little down scale the axis just to match with this video so uh, then for that we need to add an object new object and it should be transparent alpha bring down to zero and then make it shadow only so it's not visible here now let us see run try and see where is the shadow up here Okay, I think it's almost there. If you bring this little more friend, it will be fine, I think. Now let's run that one more time. Okay, I'll be fine. I'm sitting here. And the shadow is there. And the pageants are also having a shadow. That, that we get a natural look for the uh, 3D scene. And uh, stay there. Now we take the node. It again. We need to add a keyframe. We need to lock uh, this here. So just insert. Just press I. 
uh, and the, the entry keyframe automatically added at this uh, stage. I will go to the last uh, frame of the movie and let us run right now. Okay, so the shadow is there and our uh, green screen footage is here, so we need to take it there on the left. So, so the field axis. Why? Move it there and again press I. So it's automatically add a keyframe there. So in the middle, just run try and see. Okay, that's good because uh, the green screen or footage is moving uh, according to the camera movement and along with the shade. So that's perfect and uh, if this green screen footage uh, is not moving along with the shade or the 3D scene, you need to take the graph editor and uh, select the keyframes. Press A, uh, select all three frames and uh, uh, this key mode uh, should be linear, just press the linear mode, so uh, this will stay there, uh, green screen footage will stay along with the uh, scene. That's it. You can move uh, in any direction, and uh, you can put the keyframe here. So this camera is currently uh, moving only in y-axis. So if the camera moves uh, z-axis also, if you move in z-axis also it's not a problem you can adjust uh, this in this keyframe and put a uh, keyframe there so that is a trick and i hope uh, you enjoyed this one and uh, please subscribe and like for more videos uh, thanks for watching